This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm back after a week of vacation. It was good to be away and good to be in the woods and good to be with some family that I haven't seen since the pandemic started. And it's good to be back now. It's good to be here getting ready for the coming year. On an entirely different note, though, unrelated to church in any way, tonight is the baseball all-star game. Now, Cedric Mullins is the only Oriole appearing, and, and that's uh, about right. Um, at the Oriole, or at the all-star break, my Orioles sit 28 and 61. They are, to put it lightly, not in playoff contention this year. A recent Baltimore Sun column looking, looked forward to the prospect, likely only a few years away, they wrote, when the Orioles are not the laughingstock of the American League. But here's the thing about being an Orioles fan, I think. It, it teaches you, or it, it gathers people who already had this inclination, to love the game, not the feeling of winning. Nobody in the world roots for the Orioles because they hopped on a World Series bandwagon. They root for the Orioles because there's something about the game itse itself. The smell of peanuts at Camden Yard or the crack of a bat on a summer afternoon. It is a fandom about embracing the moments, not the result. And this, I think, is a good lesson for life. Now, life is not a baseball season. It does not end with a World Series with one person crowned champion of the world and, and the rest ending the season with a loss. Life is a, a series of moments. Now, granted, some seasons of life, we have more moments that are wins than losses, and other seasons we lose a lot and end up in the bottom of the metaphorical American League. But what matters is the experience not the result. Anyway, that's what I tell myself. If the Orioles make it to the playoffs in 2023, then we'll see how this reflection holds up. But until then, I will see you on Friday.